<laughs> Sorry, buddy, but I got to go to work. All right, I get a lot of questions. People say, how do you sharpen scissors? Well, I have a pair of utility scissors here. And so let's open them up, dump them out, and take the sheath off. Wow, oh, those are actually pretty substantial. Um, so anyway, they do have a, like a crab cracker. Oh, actually, that's a little, <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit sharp. I did not expect. Cracking your crabs. I did not expect them to poke like that so much. Okay, then they got a bottle opener on them here. And you open them up, they're flat on this side, they're beveled on that side. And yeah, and they're sharpened different, okay. This one here just has a bevel like that, and it's pretty aggressive bevel. It's not flat, but it is bevel like that. And then this one over here is flat on that side, okay. And we tip it up, and it has almost a more aggressive, uh, lesser angle bevel on it. <coughs> so you have your uh, flap, you got secondary, then you actually have your uh, third grind, all right, on there. And they're pretty tough, so they are for uh, cutting uh, probably meat and chicken and fish and stuff like that, kitchen type stuff. So let's just run over here. We're going to use the long handle blue. Okay. So they call, you know, cows beef, right? Yeah. They call pigs pork. Yes, always. What do they call chicken? Uh, Chicken. Good enough, I guess. Okay. Yeah, well, that's because it's foul. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, go ahead. That's foul. Okay, so we got to get the, uh, the the right bevel on there. I'm going to tip it over a little bit like this. Match this straight line with the straight line on the bevel. About like that. And then I'm going to take it and slide it out the blade like this. And I'm going to tip it down just a little bit because I can hear, see this the ribs in the back of the blade back there. When we hear that, Tip it down, and now it's just an even scraping noise. So just like that, if you tip it up a little too far this way, it'll make the noise again. If you tip it down this way too far, you're gonna be on the cutting edge, so don't do that. So just like that. Boy, those are almost flat 90 degrees across. So just like that, don't press too hard on it. Let it work, don't make it work. And then we do this. So we want parallel between this and that. So I tried to get in the sunlight, right? So that's parallel across there. Come clear to the very back where it really bites when you cut something. And then just go straight out like that. Because right now I'm just taking the burr off of that edge right there. And I might tip it up and do it that way. There, 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 there. Okay, now I can feel that there's no burr at all on there. So we turn it over and we do the same thing on this side. I can turn it that way a little, this way. Come back in here like that, this, that. And oop, this is this is a little wide right here, so we, you know, it'll work. Just like that, I just have to slow down and turn it. All right, just like this. So we want them parallel. You don't want it up that way, you don't want it up that way. You want it parallel, flat like that. And reach back in here, like that. <laughs> And I'm catching here a little bit, so you have to manipulate the sharpener just a little, just like that. Come right on out. There. There. Okay, the burr is gone. And let's see what we got now. Yes, it will cut one piece. So let's do this. There's two layers. Four layers. Eight layers. Sixteen layers. That looks like my bank account. Yeah, like that, 16, and there's 32 layers of paper, okay? You double it every time you do that, so we do. Oof. Oh, my. God, keep, Whoa. keep, your, fingers, <laughs> keep your fingers out of the way, because once it really does get in there, it's going to cut. So will it cut a little piece without bending it? Yeah, sure does. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, Medic! Medic! Oh, it's all fixed. This is Brad Sharpensbest.com. You take care. Go to Sharpensbest.com. We're going to see if we carry the scissors, but that's how you sharpen the scissors.